if you're not quite ready to let go of the summer vibes, if you're not quite ready to dive into eight weeks of horror movies, you know, take this weekend, this, this Labor Day weekend, and watch some summer comedies. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to give you nine recommendations from my collection that you can watch this Labor Day weekend and just have a good laugh. And now, here to entertain you all, because every day he's hustling, Side Hustle Cinema. Welcome back to the channel, Side Hustle Cinema here. And today we're not talking horror. We're actually going to be talking comedies. Summer comedies. So I've got nine recommendations for you guys to hopefully give you something to watch this Labor Day weekend. Get in a few more laughs before the spooky season really gets going. So let's get into it. And as always, if you like talking physical media, if you like movie news, if you like collectible videos, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to comment on anything we talk about today, just go ahead and drop that in the comment section down below. It always helps. And let me get right into my first recommendation. Comedy classic, 1985 I believe this one is. And that is Summer Rental. John Candy. What a legend. This is a great movie. It's only available on DVD. I wish I had a Blu-ray or even something better. Yeah, this one's a, a really fun movie. It's about John Candy. He plays an air traffic controller who's burnt out. He's forced to go on mandatory vacation. And he takes his family to the beach. His kids are played by, like, Joey Lawrence. Whoa. And Carrie Green, she was Andy in The Goonies. Uh, this came out the same year as The Goonies. So, yeah, she had a, an amazing summer. Two, two hit movies. Well, like most comedies... You know, anything that could go wrong kind of went wrong. But like a lot of movies, you know, it ends up with a big boat race. You know, for all the marbles. You, you see that in a lot of summer movies. <laughs> I won't spoil the ending, but uh, yeah, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. My next recommendation is, is a movie that I just picked up recently. And that is One Crazy Summer. Uh, this is a great movie. Uh, tons of fun. This one's a lot of laughs in this one. It's uh, It's got John Cusack in it. Demi Moore. Curtis Armstrong. Who, you know, was Booger in, in the Nerds movie. But anyway, it's just a bunch of, like, college-age kids that are spending the summer in Nantucket. Uh, they end up running into Demi Moore, who is trying to save like her 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 grandma's like old folks home or, or whatever it is uh it's trying to be you know taken over by the the rich land developer guy who's you know the bad guy in the movie it's uh 80 minutes of of hijinks and then another 10 of a boat race <laughs> they get into a boat race to you know save grandma's house like i said Summer movies and boat races. It's a thing. Loads of laughs in this one. Uh, Bobcat Goldplate's in it. What's his name? Bill Murray's brother is in this one as well. Uh, Joel? Joel Murray, I think. But yeah, if you haven't checked it out, super funny. Definitely, definitely give this one a watch. Another great summer movie. This time we're going to jump over to the camp side of things. I only have it on DVD. I think it does have a Blu-ray. But... It's Ernest Goes to Camp. Uh, so this is my favorite Ernest film. I mean, uh, Scared Stupid is great. Uh, Saves Christmas is really good. And Goes to Jail. Those are, those are the best Ernest movies, I think. But uh, Goes to Camp was always my favorite. He's always kind of the punching bag, you know, the whipping boy. Uh, he plays that role really well. But then he always seems to rise up and be the hero. And this movie's no different, you know, he, he's assigned to these kids, these second chance kids, um, you know, like, you know, inner city kind of thing, you know, troubled youths, and, you know, they're just goofing on him, pranking him, he eventually starts to win them over, and then 
you know, the land developers, you know, he gets tricked into, he gets tricked into, like, selling the camp. So he decides to stand up to all the construction guys. And, like, Lyle Alzado, the big giant football player, you know, is, like, one of the main guys. And so, you know, all the kids and Ernest and everybody has to band together and try to, try to take out these um, construction workers and stuff. It, that, I mean, that's the best scene, you know, when they're fighting against the, you know, the construction company and trying to get the camp back. Um, it, it's crazy, but it's super funny. I love this movie. Another recommendation I have is another camp movie. This one is Heavyweights. This is another great uh, camp movie, except this one's uh, Fat Kids Camp. Uh, this has got Ben Stiller in it. He plays a role really similar to what he played in Dodgeball. You know, kind of that, you know, that uh, over-the-top, kind of, you know, self-absorbed, arrogant, uh, douchebag-type character, you know, fitness guru. He's trying to whip these, you know, all these fat kids into shape. And, of course, you know, it's all the stuff that you do when you're a fat kid in camp. You're sneaking in all the candy, you know, all the contraband. Uh, it's got a lot of great, you know, kid actors in this, too. Um, Goldberg's in it uh, from Mighty Ducks. You know, Sean Wise, he's in this. It's also got Keenan Thompson in it, Aaron Schwartz, and uh, Paul Feig, you know, the director, uh, played a role in this, too as one of the, you know, counselors. Judd Apatow wrote this and produced it. And like a lot of camp movies, you know, no boat race in this one, but, it, you know, it's the camp challenge with the other camp from across the lake. You know, that happens a lot in camp movies. Yeah, I can, I can watch this one just about any time. Actually, most of these summer movies, I mean, that's why I have them. I mean, I could watch them summer, winter, spring, fall, whatever. Uh, they're just great movies. I mean, if you're ever just kind of down, you can pop in one of these and, you know, it'll help you get through it, whatever it is. My next recommendation, I actually watched just the other day. Um, I caught it on TV because it's on TV a lot. I wasn't going to watch it. Next thing I know, it's an hour and a half later and I just watched the whole thing. And that's Dazed and Confused. I mean, when you think of the cast that was in this movie, I mean, it's it's just amazing that they got this many, you know, great people. Of course, you know, a lot of them were unknown back then, but to have this many people become, you know, pretty famous actors and actresses, it's kind of amazing, you know. Matthew McConaughey, Parker Posey, Ben Affleck, you know, Jason London, Adam Goldberg, uh, Parker Posey, Mila Jolovich, um, who am I leaving out? Joey Adams. It's, I mean, it's just crazy how many, like, really awesome people were in this movie. And, of course, it's pretty much, you know, a, a real basic kind of a plot. It's just pretty much the day school lets out, and, you know, it's a bunch of high school kids just looking to go and party. And, you know, a house party gets shut down, so they're kind of roaming around town, hitting up all the spots that they normally hit. All of a sudden, you know, a, you know, a beer bash, you know, ends up coming up. So that's where the party is, and it's just a night of how, how they all get there, you know. just It's just a collection of scenes more than anything else. I mean, it's all quotes and scenes that make up a great movie. You know, if you told someone the plot, they'd be like you know, doesn't sound like anything to me, but it's just all the scenes were amazing, and when you put them all together, it just makes, like, one of the best movies ever. Definitely one of my favorites. Top ten, I'm sure. And the next movie, when you talk about, like, summer classics, comedy classics, you know, this is usually probably most people's you know, number one or number two, something like that, but National Lampoon's Vacation, you know, Clark Griswold taking the family, cross country, go see Wally World, just like all these other movies, that someone on vacation, and everything goes wrong. 
everything that goes wrong ends up being super funny, you know. <laughs> and of course this movie, you know, it's got, uh, you know, Cousin Eddie, you know, Randy Quaid in it. And uh, Anthony Michael Hall plays, you know, Rusty. Beverly D'Angelo plays the wife, uh, you know, Ellen Griswold. Amazing movie. John Candy also in this movie. And really just, you know, one of my favorite comedies ever. I love this one. So many scenes, so many quotes. And of course they get to Wally's <laughs> Wally World and uh, it's closed. So then comes the crazy third act that, you know, is way over the top. <laughs> and, you know, somehow they get away with it, you know. Uh, I don't guess I really need to worry about spoiling it. If you haven't seen this by now, shame on you. You know, ends up taking uh, the park over with a BB gun and, and rides all the rides till the SWAT team shows up. I mean, what a, what a way to end it. But oh, this one, this one's on TV a lot. I watch it at least once or twice a year, it seems to be. And uh, it's also one that I can watch just about any time. Pop it in, I'm good to go. And uh, nothing, nothing says summer like this movie. And my next recommendation is another summer camp movie, and it's Little Darlings. Now this is one that I don't expect a lot of people have seen. Uh, it's barely got like a DVD release. I don't even know if this one's a legit release or if it's like a bootleg. I think you can stream this one on Amazon. But it's a summer camp movie that involves these uh, two uh, teenage girls, Christy McNichol and Tatum O'Neill. And they're like the polar opposite, you know, both socially and economically. Tatum O'Neill's a, um, you know, she's the rich princess type and then Christy McNichols plays she plays kind of that streetwise you know poor kid and they end up going to the same summer camp together and they instantly hate each other so they decide to settle their differences the only way they know how with a boat race no not with a boat race they have a contest to see who can lose their virginity first Christy McNichols goes after a young Matt Dillon and Tatum O'Neill goes after like a coach at the camp who's like old enough to be her dad. Both the girls are supposed to be 15 in the movie. There's a bunch of other campers, you know, in the movie and they get into a lot of, you know, summer camp hijinks, trying to compete with one another. Food fights, they steal a bus, you know, all kinds of craziness. But it actually is a pretty good movie. And yeah, if you've never seen it, I recommend you checking this one out. My next recommendation features John Candy again. Can't have too much John Candy in your life. It's The Great Outdoors with Dan Aykroyd and John Candy. And again, this one, not heavy on plot. Again, it's one of those, you know, collections of scenes strung together that kind of form a movie. Basically, John Candy takes his family, you know, up to uh, a cabin where him and his wife, you know, went on their honeymoon. And they wanted to do, like, you know, a family vacation at the lake when his sort of pompous, uh, arrogant brother-in-law ends up coming and sort of crashing the party. And he's supposed to be this, you know, rich guy, and he's kind of upstaging John Candy throughout the movie, but it turns out that he's actually broke and is trying to hook John Candy into, you know, a financial, you know, scheme, take some money. I mean, that that plot is, is so not really part of the movie. I mean, that's barely part of the movie. You know, again, this one is really just a collection of scenes. I mean, they go fishing, water skiing. There's Dan Aykroyd's kids, you know, get lost at the end. And they have to work together to go find them. And then there's a grizzly bear that, you know, John Candy had shot back when they were on their honeymoon and now the bear's back for revenge. I mean, there is a sub-story that involves like John Candy's son, you know, kind of falling in love with the local girl, uh, which is, you know, kind of a nice uh, story. A little subplot on this one. Chances are you've seen this one though. It plays on TV quite a bit. But if you haven't seen it, check it out. You won't be disappointed. And finally, my last recommendation is 
Meatballs. This is a Bill Murray comedy. Summer camp. And it's a lot of what you would expect from a summer camp movie. It ends up with, you know, the big competition at the end of the movie. With the camp across the lake. So Bill Murray befriends, you know, this this kid who's kind of the camp loner. His name's Rudy Garner. He's played by Chris Makepeace. Maybe you remember him from the movie Vamp. Well, anyway, they hang out together quite a bit. And they run every morning, which is kind of foreshadowing the big, you know, final race at the end of the movie. The guy that was going to race in it sprains his ankle, and they need someone to run for their camp. And so Bill Murray suggests they go with Rudy. And does he win the day? You have to watch him find out. Yeah, this is a, it's a great movie. I watch this one about every summer. I actually love all the meatball movies. There was like four of them. Well, I hope you enjoyed the recommendations. I could have put them in an order, I guess. Maybe put made it a top ten and added a, another movie. Uh, I didn't really have another movie that I considered a, a summer movie. Uh, you know, I could have threw Sandlot in there. Um, I actually don't have that one on physical media. It plays so often on TV. I've just never bothered to, you know, to purchase it. It's literally on TV like every weekend it seems. So let me know in the comments down below what are some of your favorite summer comedies. And I'm sure some of these must have made the list. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy your Labor Day weekend. And as always, have fun, stay safe, keep watching those movies, and I'll see you next time.